Right, so an interesting question was asked to me the other day and that is how can we create a horizontal surface and manipulate its um, elevation so that we can see how an area might flood. Now this is maybe not the perfect example for this but over here we've got um, a bit of a grading over here with an elevation at uh, 63 meters above sea level but let's for argument's sake suppose that some major catastrophe happens and that the water level rises by 63 <laughs> meters then what is this area going to look like okay and what we'd like to see uh, eventually is maybe some 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 green outline with a blue outline showing we not outline but a but a green um, surface with a uh, blue surface showing where the water would be. So anything that is green would be above water and anything that's blue would be below water. All right. So let's just see how we can define a surface quickly if it's not from within a database or so. We've got various ways in which we can define a surface. One of them is by using good old AutoCAD points which I can see uh, I can use from the from the drawing menu over here there's the ability to create points, multiple points and I can go and create a point one, two, three, four. Now I'm just doing this in a in a general fashion of course one could create this very carefully within the drawing itself but to keep things simple I just want to demonstrate this. You can actually add the drawing objects, the points, okay and there they are, alright now, clicking on this surface, we can move it around. You can see we can move it independent of the points that originally defined it. After this, we can delete those points. The surface is not um, negated by doing that. And let's have a look at the surface style that we're going to use for this. Uh, flat surface. Over here we can see by right clicking and creating a new style. I've created the water style for want of a better name. And if we edit the style we can see the display of the different layers. And there's the information for the surface. The name, borders, contours, grids. There's a lot of information here that we can include or exclude. Here's the analysis and the display and the summary. Now on the display it's interesting we've got plan and we've got model which is essentially 3D and then we've got section and that is looking at it in a profile view. All right. So we're probably going to be interested in the plan more than anything and let's see at the properties that we've got here for triangles um, let's have a look at that if we change that to a dark blue then the surface itself also changes to a dark blue this is a label that we don't need to display so what we can do is we can switch off the layers that we don't want that, that, la that label is in the watersheds label but essentially what we're interested in is the border, the triangle and the points. Okay, so an interesting thing that I've noticed is if one now manipulates the points over here and one says move point, you know, you can move these points into other places. But notice what happens on the third try. It changes it into a triangle. Then it gets rid of one of the points. All right. So what I would suggest maybe is create the surface in a different way altogether. So what I've done is I've created a rectangle over here at an elevation of 63 and then I explode it. And then after I've exploded it I'm going to use that to define with drawing objects. I'm going to add those lines because remember I've exploded the polyline. So I'm going to add the lines to go and create the surface. So there's the surface, which I can now set to the style of water. Then it will turn nice and blue. And then we can also use the move over there. We can move this point so, onto the edge over there. 
and then we can move the surface by using this gizmo right. so I'm going to move this gizmo I'm just going to select the XY coordinate from here XY of the endpoint and then at no movement for the Z. So there is the flood plane now put in and you can see already how it is covering the other surface. If we wanted the other surface to display then in plan view then we would also have to have a look at that tin surface and have a look at the, um, the style that it uses. Right. So we can create a new style we go to the settings, um, we can copy the water style and I'm going to name this not water copy but just green okay, or dry land and then in the display we'll change uh, the triangle dark blue to a green for argument's sake, there we go okay and then after I zoom in on the corner of one of the building preparations, the footpaths that I've created over here, you'll see that my data because it is taken from InfraWorks it's quite rough, right? so these big triangles is just, that's kind of what the survey comes into, it's not a high resolution but you can see if you had more data points to define the surface it would be quite a nice curve intersect here between the horizontal plane and whatever um, um, topography you've got going there right. but that, you know, if we had to build a dam that's going to dam up the water to 63 meters in some of the development and this is what it looks like um, yeah and that's how you could display that and possibly also compare that to satellite uh, historical satellite imagery to make sure that you've got the right elevation of course if the surface is not at the right elevation you can modify that as well if you select the surface then you can use the raise or lower surface command and you can say, let's suppose that we drop this by a meter we go minus one and that then updates our surface see the effect raise or lower surface all elevations minus one and there you can see the water retreating now that we zoomed in closer now I hope this has been instructive and if you do do something like this that it helps you in your design if you need further help with regards to creating um, floodplains like this please contact Micrographics so we might be of further assistance